Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Futures Morning Leap Session for Tuesday, November the 15th. It is uh, 7.50 a.m. Eastern Time. We are doing this early because I have to run uh, to the airport this morning. Uh, this is a session that we do each morning. Uh, we get together to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses for the day. We create multiple hypotheses so that we have a plan in place for whatever the market uh, throws at us. Uh, this is a subscription service, so if you're interested in checking it out, send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website. There's no blog. This is not a commercial venture. We do everything here live uh, in the go-to session, in the pre-market session, and then we do uh, live trading and analysis during the course of the trading day. Please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. We are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Past performance is not indicative of future results in any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Okay, taking a look at yesterday. Yesterday, uh, we are looking for continuation pattern. Our hypothesis one was a move down into value uh, and then somewhere uh, between the uh, VPOC and the value area low. We were looking for responsive buyers to step in and then rotate us back up towards that uh, 69.50 naked VPOC and continuation higher up into the uh, daily ATR upside target and the all-time high uh, adjusted up at that 2184.50 and 2185. Uh, we kind of got a mixed bag. We have had now two days of balance uh, where we're accepting uh, value higher. You can see that we closed yesterday at 2161. That is two ticks below where we closed uh, on Friday. Uh, so we've uh, basically uh, have had balancing and accepting a value a little bit uh, higher. Taking a look at the news, we do have a fair amount of news this morning. We have uh, core retail sales, retail sales month over month, Empire State Manufacturing and import prices all at uh, 8.30. Then at 9.05, we've got FOMC uh, Tarullo speaking. We have a lot of FOMC speakers this, uh, this whole week. So uh, be careful because when they're speaking, they can say something and the market can react to it very quickly. Uh, at 10 o'clock, we've got uh, business inventories. And then at 1.30, we've got Fisher speaking. Uh, so we've got uh, a fair amount of news this morning. So just be careful uh, on the open and uh, before the open and during the course of the trading day uh, that, uh, you know, when especially when we got uh, FOMC uh, speakers, when they're talking about raising rates in December, we want to make, make sure that uh, uh, the market doesn't react unkindly to uh, their comments. Uh, Taking a look at the macro to micro, I always like to start my day. Uh, you know, I start with a basic candlestick chart, a 9 EMA and a 20 SMA. I start on the monthly and I start working my way down. I'm looking at uh, uh, slope and separation for the strength of the trend, where the trend is being challenged or violated and where we're getting continuation patterns. On the monthly, we've got this beautiful multi-year upward uh, trend at the end of 15, beginning of 16, they violated it and then they took it back and since then they've been able to hold above the 9 and the 20. We have went down on the news of the election, uh, down and uh, tested below the 20, but we popped right back up after going limit down uh, at that uh, 2080 uh, and a quarter uh, level. I'm sorry, 2028 20, and a quarter level. We do have this falling three pattern still setting up on the monthly in this, uh, you know, this this green candle. If we close above the high of the uh, of the falling uh, the three downward months, then this is a continuation pattern. These are pretty good continuation patterns, and I expect if we get above the 2191.50 unadjusted all-time high, we'll get continuation uh, up into the 2200s. Taking a look at the uh, weekly, on the weekly you can see we are getting the continuation pattern uh, after last week's uh, you know, uh, limit down and then uh, pop right back. We had 152 point range last week uh, and we're continuing to expand 
uh, and get a continuation pattern. Uh, with the uh, ATR from last week, our 20 period ATR on the weekly is 49.50. It'll start coming into play in the next couple days. We'll take a look at that when we get into the uh, uh, composite. Um, taking a look at the daily. Daily, you can see we're creating a flag pattern. We do have a bit of a, a technical gap here, uh, and a little bit of a Mr. Sneaky, but uh, this is, is looking much more like a flag pattern than, uh, than a pullback. But uh, pullback to be expected which would be normal, would be a pullback to the 2146.75. I'm actually watching that 2143.50. Uh, if we do get below there, we have a naked cross down here on the daily, down at the 2125 area. So I'd be uh, targeting this if we break that 2143.50 level. But the continuation pattern is intact on the, uh, on the daily. Going into the intraday, you can see that we are uh, compressing here and creating a bit a, uh, of a symmetrical triangle. We are below the 9 and the 20 on the 4-hour, so we are seeing uh, a little bit of weakness coming in on the 4-hour. Going to the 1-hour, excuse me, I've got uh, a cold coming on, so if I'm sniffling a lot. You can see that we are in this consolidation spade, uh, uh, stage right now, and uh, clearly... We've got a downward trend line that we've got to uh, pay attention to. Uh, a break above this, uh, this upper trend line would give us a uh, continuation pattern and a break above that uh, 2170 area. And you can see that it's actually uh, you know, a uh, bit of a uh, symmetrical triangle uh, on the uh, one hour. Excuse me. Let me get rid of these drawings here. So sideways consolidation, and we're right now we're challenging the uh, the downward uh, uh, S, the 20 SMA, and we're trying to break below right now. As we move down, you can see that we're starting to see a possible downward uh, trend starting. We got a naked cross just above us on the 30 minute at 21.65. I would expect that that would be challenged if we break above the uh, 64. Um, but the trend is starting to be down on the 30-minute. On the 15-minute, you'll see that it's accelerating. We're getting slope and separation down, um, and the trend is starting to go down on the 15-minute. And then you can see on, whoops, sorry about that. You can see on the downward trend, uh, it's, it's accelerating to the downside. We keep coming up and failing at either the 9 or the 20. Right now, we're coming back and trying to challenge the tw uh, the 9 from below. Remember, we've got news in a half hour, so that trend can be violated on the news, but something to keep an eye on as we move into the RTH session. Taking a look at the big picture and the composite, this composite, the black uh, uh, profile goes back to 2013. I have my microcomposite that uh, I'm running, and this should be running now from here. And you can see that the uh, microcomposite VPOC from the breakout day, uh, just to give it context, we are down in this uh, distribution zone down here for most of the year, and then we broke up, uh, we broke out of that value and uh, gapped up, and then we've gone up. And we've created this upper distribution up here with a value area high at the 2165.50 and value area low at the uh, 2120 and a quarter. You can see that uh, we have the significant uh, CLVN at 2166. This is going to remain our over underline for the day. Uh, right now we are just uh, back inside of this value area. The three-day microcomposite, okay, the, uh, the microcomposite VPOC for the last three days is accepting value higher with a uh, three-day microcomposite at 2160. Um, and that's right around that 6075 with the, this little LVN right below it at 59. We get below 59, I'd be looking for a trip back down to 52. 50. Basically, the hypos are going to be very much like they were yesterday because we're going to be opening up 
basically. Yesterday, our RTH session opened at 65.50. We're trading 62.75. We had a close of uh, 61.50 uh, on Friday, and now we have a close at 61 on Monday. So basically, we spent two days in the wick uh, of this uh, Thursday uh, trading day. Uh, above the 66, I'd be targeting that 70, 75 CHVN, and then 74, 75. But of course, the real target is up here at the 2185, uh, and then the unadjusted high at 2191.50. Uh, major targets below, of course, is the 5250. That's the most traded place going back to the uh, breakout day, which was uh, uh, 0708. And then our key line in the sand below that is going to be the 214350. Below that, we're looking for a move back into this distribution zone here and back into the <coughs> the. Uh, shorter time frame where the microcomposite VPOC is here around the 32.50 and then an even shorter period around the 33. So between the 33 and the 32.50 area. Taking a look at the overnight, overnight was uh, was uh, fairly balanced uh, and we just sort of grinded up higher back up into uh, balance around 64.75. We tried to uh, get back above the 66 and uh, back towards that uh, 7050 sellers stepped in at 6975 took us back down and we're basically trading through value again overnight so inventory is uh, is net long to neutral um, so if they get below this 59 the longs are going to get uh, punished here and we're likely to get a move and a bigger move down to test that uh, 5850. Remember, we still have a weak low from the RTH session on Friday down at that 47, I'm sorry, 57, is it 57? 4775. So moving this over, let's just take a look at that. I'm sorry, it's, uh, yeah, from, from Friday, we've got that double bottom down here at the 47.75, and then basically we've been uh, auctioning out the, the wick of this uh, trading day the last two days, and we're finding balance in around that 57.58 uh, area. You know, we have a VPOC at 57.50 uh, on uh, on. Uh, Friday and then on Monday we had uh, uh, VPOC just slightly higher. So VPOCs are coming up and we're really looking for this VPOC from the Thursday up here at the 6950. Uh, so let's take our overnight uh, numbers. So far, remember I'm doing this early. There's lots of time left. Uh, we've you know we've got uh, an hour and a half before the uh, the RTH session. So these numbers can change. But as it stands right now, I'm going to work my plan uh, based on what I've got right now. And right now, we've got an overnight high up at 69.75, which is one tick above the naked VPOC uh, from that Thursday. And then we've got an uh, overnight low down at uh, 21.58.50, which is one tick below the uh, the. VPOC from yesterday and a couple ticks above the VPOC from Friday. So we got balance here. We're going to be opening up most likely inside a balance and inside a value. Now we could get a move before then and open up outside of uh, a balance and I'll talk about that. Uh, value is pretty uh, pretty even overnight. We can see that we do have a little bit of an LVN, a, a low volume node overnight at 66 and a quarter. You know, 66 uh, uh, is going to be my over underline still. I'm going to use 66 and a quarter. This doesn't give me any more information except for the VPOC, and I don't think the VPOC will change. Uh, it's pretty prominent. We've got good kurtosis there at uh, 2164.75. And then that's all we need. All right, so bring this up, expand this out again. So 
So right now we are got a very good Gaussian distribution. This is uh, this is market imbalance. In fact, it's market imbalance for uh, the last two days. If I draw a profile just over the last two days, you can see that uh, we're finding that balance in around that 60 uh, area and the three day is just slightly higher at 60 and a quarter. But we don't really need this to clutter, so we'll take that off. So uh, my trade levels are going to be the value area high here, the value area low here, and the range low here at 52 and a quarter. Uh, main target below is still going to be the 52.75 if we get outside of value. Main target right now inside of value is the overnight low and the naked VPOC uh, from the overnight. The target main target above is going to be the 69.75 overnight high and that naked VPOC at, uh, at 60, uh, uh, 6950. And then uh, main uh, next big target above is the 7075. And then we've got a little bit of resistance that's going to come in at the 74.75. I really think if we get above the uh, the next big target that, uh, that we're going to have the momentum uh, and the breakout that we're looking for uh, to give us that move. Uh, and then we've got the uh, 78.75, which is the high of that Thursday. And then above that, we've got a naked deep pocket, 83.75. Our daily ATR is running right now at 26.60. Uh, that's the 20 period full session daily ATR upside. And so off of the bottom right now, a 21.58.50. Our upside uh, ATR target is 21.85. How amazing is that? Our all time high. So our daily ATR hasn't changed. It has uh, gone up by a couple ticks, and it's sitting right on the all-time uh, high, uh, which is the December uh, adjusted. And then above that, we've got the unadjusted all-time high at uh, the September high at 91.50. Our daily downside ATR target off of the overnight high, and this might change because we're tra trading near the highs right now, uh, 26.60 is 21.43. Man, you can't make this stuff up. It's right at our key line in the sand. Just just below it. Talk about uh, a, uh, a range of key levels. Our all-time high and our key line in the sand and what separates this upper distribution to uh, the lower distribution and that move down to the uh, 33 area. And then all our levels remain the same. Our next big target below is, uh, not below, below, is still that uh, 33 and 30 and 2750 and then 21. And then our next key line in the sand is all the way down here at the 2109. There is the value area low at 2120 and a quarter. So that is also going to be a key level for us. In fact, I can get rid of this 18 and just move this down. I don't know why I keep doing that. And then we just want to mark this on our chart, but it's really, it's really the 66 in the uh, in the over underline. Uh, but we'll, you know, let's mark it so we know why. It's the MC value area high. Okay, 
So that is our levels. Let's talk about our hypotheses. So right now we are accepting value or, uh, value higher, but we don't seem to have the inventory to break and hold above the 66. So my main hypothesis still remains the same. We're going to open auction just inside a range, just inside a value possibly, depending on where we're trading in the next hour and a half. Uh, hour and 15 minutes and I'm looking for an open auction in range a rotation down towards the overnight low and the uh, micro positive v or the v naked VPOC from yesterday and somewhere between the value area low from yesterday and the 52 uh, 53 area I'm looking for a rotation uh, I'm looking for responsive buyers to step in and rotate us up through and take out that overnight high and uh, take out uh, the naked VPOC, chop around between the 68 and 70, uh, 75 and then get the continuation up into the uh, 74, 78 area and then a push and a late day probe up to make a new all time high um, based on the December contract. Um, so that's my hypothesis. Uh, one is a open auction in range, a move down to find buyers, finding buyers somewhere between the 58 and the uh, and the uh, 53 area, and then rotating us up through range and value, and chopping in between the range high and the overnight high, and then a push up into the 74 to 78, and then a late day probe up into the 83. And basically, I'm looking for a breakout day of the uh, microcomposite value area and move up into this upper distribution and possibly take out the overnight high or the all-time high. Hypo 1 has an alternative again today and that's if we open up in the above value and above range or in uh, range but above value and then finding uh, having an open test drive or an open drive and breaking out coming up and chopping between the 70 and 75 and then getting the move up into the 83 but with this one I'm looking for a stronger move up and it, uh, a new uh, you know unadjusted all-time high and a break of the 9150 maybe even coming up and probing into the 22 <coughs> hypo 3 or hypo 2 uh, is a uh, so hypo 1 a and B you know, basically the same thing is just, you know, hypo one comes down and uh, and uh, and has a deeper retrace to find buyers. Hypo one B is, you know, uh, an open drive or failure to get inside a value and leaving the naked close and the naked VPOC alone and just going right up and getting a breakout day. Hypo two is the opposite of that, an open auction in range or an open auction just out of range, a move up into the 70 area, get a false breakout against uh, yesterday uh, range, and then uh, sellers stepping in and rotating us down through, chopping around in the 57 to 60 area, <coughs> and then a push down into 53, and then failure, and a push down to break that uh, that double bottom at the 47.75. I need to put a trade area down there, 47.75. I'm going to mark it as a double bottom. And then a push down into the uh, 43 area. So hypo, hypo three is an open auction. Or actually, I guess it's hypo two. Sorry, I keep doing that. Hypo two is open auction uh, in range or just out of range. Failure to hold above the prior day uh, value somewhere in the 70 area, maybe even 74 area. Sellers step in and rotate us down and start working our way down, chopping around in the lower. Uh, area of the value and the uh, and the VPOC and then a push down through to 53, break the 53 and come down and take out this double bottom and to move down into the 43 and a test of the key line in the sand below. Hypo 3 is a open drive, drive up into the 85 early on. I would say 
within the uh, within the uh, first hour and a half of trading, and then getting a trend day and pushing up and coming up and coming up and closing somewhere up here in the 2210 area, somewhere between 2200 and, uh, and uh, 2210. And then hypo four is a failure to break out or a false breakout and getting a trend day down and a take back day and a, you know, basically a, tur uh, a turnaround Tuesday and a move down through, take out that double bottom, come down, test the 43, fail at the 43, and come down and close somewhere down here between the 33 and the uh, 2120, uh, and come back and basically get a, uh, a trend day, take, down, take back day of the Thursday trend day, and come back down into this lower distribution. So those are my main hypotheses. Uh, you know, I don't know which one's going to uh, which one's going to uh, happen. I think the higher pri uh, probability is still more to the upside, but you know, this market's been giving us some uh, fairly large rotations, so we could easily fail and come back down. Currently, we're trading below the Keltner center line. The Keltner center line sitting right on the over under line. Our key line today, uh, 2166. You really want to stay short below the 66 and you really want to be long above 66. Just don't get chopped up around it if they come up here and chop. But anything above the 66, you got to be, uh, you know, looking to the uh, to the long side. Risk is still to the upside right now. Uh, anything to the uh, below it, you've got to be looking for the move back towards the 58, 57 area and possibly 53 or lower. Uh, test of the lower Keltner will take us back to the 59 and a quarter. By the time we get there, it's probably going to be uh, right around that, uh, that uh, 58.75, 58.50. Uh, if we get above the 66, a move up to the upper Keltner line is going to take us up into uh, the uh, upper uh, Keltner line to 72.75. Our pivot today, our uh, full session pivot is down here at 62.50. Our uh, R1 is at 72.50. Our R2 is at 84.75. Uh, so we you know, can, can very easily come up into this area. Our, re, our support levels below the pivot is the 50 and a quarter and 40 and a quarter. So, you know, these, uh, you know, upside and downside ranges are there right now. Just want to take a quick look at gold. Gold uh, shifted its composite VPOC, and this composite VPOC goes all the way back to 2008, October 24, 2008, and it shifted from the 4540 up to the 5690, and then we failed. And we're coming down, and we're now trading at 20, uh, 12, 25, 20, uh, finding some balance here uh, around this uh, 2290. Uh, We're going to draw a uh, little profile right here to see where our balance is right here. And I'm going to bring this breakout day into it, and it doesn't change. So we're currently trading right at the uh, the three-day microcomposite at the 12.25.50. Uh, key line to keep an eye on is the 12, uh, 17, 12, 18 area below that target, that 14, and then anything below this 11, look for them to come all the way down to the 12.05 and test the, the key CLVN here at 12.05. This is going to be our key uh, uh, line in the sand below. Uh, anything below that, I'm looking for a bigger move back into the 1100s, and the next big target below is all the way down here at 11.67.20. If we can get above the uh, 37, even looking at the 29, but 29, you got to be a little bit more careful. It's more of a warning line. But if we get above the 37, then there's going to be a strong magnet back up into that 45 uh, area and possibly uh, all the way up into the 5690. If we come back up into this area, look for the composite VPOC shift from the 5690 down to the 46. And if they hold that after the shift, shift, that means they're accepting value there, and then I'm looking for a bigger move up 
and our walk back up into balance, which is up here at the 1267.40. So that's the, uh, that's the gold. That's going to complete our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and we'll catch you on the flip side.